Welcome, here is a rundown of war in Ukraine. U.S. warns of expanding Iran-Russia defense partnership. The United States has accused Russia of providing advanced military assistance to Iran, including air defense systems, as it warned of deepening defense ties between Moscow and Tehran, with Russia using Iranian drones to hit targets in Ukraine. White House National Security Council spokesman John Kirby cited U.S. intelligence assessments for the allegations, saying Russia was offering Iran an unprecedented level of military and technical support that is transforming their relationship into a full-fledged defense partnership. Washington has previously condemned security cooperation between Iran and Russia but on Friday described an extensive relationship involving equipment such as helicopters and fighter jets as well as drones, with the latter items resulting in new U.S. sanctions. Kirby said Russia and Iran were considering setting up a drone assembly line in Russia for the Ukraine conflict, while Russia was training Iranian pilots on the Sukhoi Su-35 fighter, with Iran potentially receiving deliveries of the plane within the year. These fighter planes will significantly strengthen Iran's air force relative to its regional neighbors, Kirby said. The U.S. also believes Iran is considering the sale of hundreds of ballistic missiles to Russia, Kirby said. The United Kingdom's Foreign Secretary James cleverly took aim at the sordid deals between Moscow and Tehran, saying in a statement that Iran had sent drones to Russia in exchange for military and technical support from Moscow. For its part, Moscow has accused the West of supplying weapons to Ukraine that are ending up in the hands of bad actors, not only in Europe but also in Africa and the Middle East. Belarus offers Ukraine grain transit without conditions. Belarus told the United Nations that it would allow, without conditions, the transit of grain from Ukraine through its territory, for export from Lithuanian ports, a UN spokesman said. Belarusian Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs Yuri Ambrozevich met with UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres in New York on Friday to tell him there are no preconditions to the transit of Ukraine grain, UN spokesman Stefan Dujaric said. Ambrozevich also reiterated the request from his government to be able to export its own fertilizer products, which are currently subject to sanctions, Dujaric said in a statement after the meeting. A Russian ally and part of the staging ground for Moscow's invasion of Ukraine, Belarus said in June that it would let Ukrainian grain shipments to transit to Baltic seaports if Belarus was allowed to ship its goods from those ports as well. Ukraine did not agree to the proposal. And Russia is expanding and modernizing its arsenal, U.S. Russia is expanding and modernizing its nuclear arsenal, says U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin. Russia is also modernizing and expanding its nuclear arsenal, Austin said at a ceremony for the incoming commander of U.S. Strategic Command, which oversees the United States' nuclear arsenal. And as the Kremlin continues its cruel and unprovoked war of choice against Ukraine, the whole world has seen Putin engage in deeply irresponsible nuclear saber-rattling, Austin added.